I know you got your own views on the market, but I'd like it to comment. Do you think we'll get seven rate hikes this year? I mean, anything's possible, Brian. I think the big variable is how much of the inflationary pressures are transitory and how much are sticky. There's no doubt that much more of it's going to be sticky than we originally anticipated. But as we normalize supply chains, as the workforce gets fully back to work, what does that really mean for closing some of these disruptions? That's what we've, we've seen that in uh, the earnings season this year. You know, the companies that have struggled have had some supply chain issues and passing uh, uh, input costs through to yeah. customers. So with regards to those interest rate, the, those interest rate increases, I think that that's probably a worst case scenario from the standpoint of how many rate increases. But remember, Brian, real interest rates are still negative because of these inflationary pressures. So I think that's a very reasonable opinion to have that just that would just get you back to positive real rates of uh, uh, real real rates on interest rates. Yeah, nearly every commodity that we track is actually higher this year. Energy is higher this year, so it doesn't appear, Dan, that inflation is getting any better. In fact, it could get worse in the short term. Still, they've got a 4,600 target, which means that they're still calling for a little bit of gain in the market. I know you, though, are a stock picker, and you've said that, and you've been on the market saying, listen, just buying the market is the old school way to do things. That worked for a while. Bank of America would agree it doesn't appear that's going to work for this year. How deep do you got to get in the weeds and just get back to plain old-fashioned stock picking once again? You know, I think if you start with some uh, uh, simple ways, first of all, this is not the time to own unprofitable companies. Uh, you know, think of an unprofitable company like a bond, like a long-dated bond. The duration risk or that sensitivity to higher interest rates is quite high. So you want to stay and, and functionally a highly profitable company is essentially a short duration bond, looking at it from that perspective. Uh, you want to stay close to the economic cycle because the reason why the Federal Reserve can do all this is there's underlying strength in the economy as a result of those inflationary pressures. Uh, you want to focus on companies that are self-funding and generating a lot of free cash flow. For us, a key metric is looking for companies that generate in excess of 100% free cash flow to net income. And of course, you know, if your balance sheet is solid, you know, those companies will be able to take advantage of any dislocations that occur in the marketplace over the course of the year. Uh, and you know, while we don't focus necessarily on dividend yield, we do focus on dividend growth. And companies that can grow their dividends, I think, are going to be well regard, regard uh, well well regarded this year, and will do well. But it is a stock pickers market. Yeah, uh, I think that it, you know, perhaps the biggest cap companies within the S and P five hundred are likely going to be more range bound. But you know that that gives you a lot of opportunity when you look uh, look to the companies. Uh, you know, there's five hundred companies, and we really only talk about the top. Yeah. 25 to 50 companies. There's a lot of really good companies uh, to look at there that are more reasonably valued. And that's another, that's my last well, point too. Don't overpay for anything. Well, we, we've tried to do that, Dan, to get out of talking about the same 20 names all the time. And you've brought right. to us Centene in the past. Is that a name you, yep. you still like before we let you go? Still do. Uh, pricing uh, within the, uh, uh, within the, uh, 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 the uh, the managed care area looks very good this year. CMS came out with their their pricing targets. Stock is continues to be very reasonably valued here. Uh, there were some takeover talks with Cigna. We kind of discount that. Things be very difficult to do any kind of very very large uh, M and A transactions. But we don't need that with the company trading at the valuation that it is right now. 